vs. Kong trailer came out. We have to watch it together. Oh my god. You guys, it's gonna be so intense. Also, while this ad is playing, look at my baby Yoda sweatshirt. Isn't it the best? This is our only chance. you want to like cry a little bit like kong bows to no one like how freaking cool is that holy crap man 11 is in it she's such a good actor also friday night lights man he's in it such a good actor also scar scar i mean it can't get any better than that cast also adam wingard directed this who is a director who has not really blown up yet he's known for blair witch and vhs and i'm just so excited that like more of an indie type director like adam is directing Directing this huge, gigantic blockbuster. It gives me hope. Maybe I'll send a message to Adam and be like, hey, uh, I realized you made some stuff, right? Blair Witch, some stuff back in the day. Uh, that's like me. I made a lot of stuff, making stuff still. Maybe, you know, the next Godzilla Kong, you wanna just dip me in there, you know, right next to Eleven if you want to, or, you know, right next to Kyle Chandler, cause. He's gonna walk in. I don't even care if he's like 45. How old is he? I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. I'm just saying if he wants to have, you know, a little bit of love and truth, I'll do whatever is my point. Adam! Okay, moving on. This is me a third of the time during the pandemic, except just replace the boat with my couch. <laughs> I'm not really chained up, but I feel like I am because I can't go anywhere because I live in Los Angeles. We've been in lockdown for quite a while. Honestly, how bad I feel when I see King Kong tied up, it hurts my soul, is also how bad I also feel when I'm on the couch not working. I feel very guilty. Get up and do something. Anytime I'm like surfing through movies and I'm like, I just can't settle on any of them. Normally someone's like, well, what do you need? Like, what do you want to watch? I'm always just like, we need Kong. The world needs him. And I need him because 
I know that this is going to be such a good movie. Now, I know they're saying the kid is the only one that he'll communicate with, which is probably for the best, because adults suck. I also have a feeling it's because she spent a lot of time making a doll of him, and adults, they don't do that. They don't think like that, right? She's thoughtful. I bet you if I made a doll, King Kong would also be like, hey, let's let's chat. You know, you seem cool. You, you made a little replica of me that shows me something. Probably start a dialogue, but these adults, they don't. They don't get it. If I was in this movie, I'd get it. I'd say, listen, show me how you made that King Kong doll, girl. Okay, because me and King Kong, we gotta have a combo. Uh, like, I guarantee you, if Bernie ever sees this and finds out who made it, he's gonna be like, uh, can somebody set me up, make a phone call? We need to find out who made this and we need to have a conversation because this is great. I feel like this is what my future ex-husband is gonna say after I go through a breakup, you know, and he knows I'm single. I feel like he's gonna be like, I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. And that's how we end up married, you know, and how he ends up future ex-husband, because I don't need a white knight. I don't have to be saved. But I mean, after breakups, it might be nice just to have somebody swoop in and do a little protecting. Oh, okay. Okay, this shot right here makes me want to meet King Kong so bad. Kong did the same. If King Kong was around, I would not be scared. I would just be like, please let me touch your nose too. So cute, he's like a puppy, except 50 million times the size. I love him so much. This is me when I go to a party and you knock, nobody answers and I'm just like, okay. Try and feel, you know, for the vibrations. They're like, the door's locked. Did somebody lock it and then close it behind them? I don't want to keep knocking because what, what if I interrupt, you know, their cycle and then they get nervous and they're like, oh God, somebody's knocking. And then they can't go to the bathroom and then they're upset for the rest of the party. It's just because of me, you know, so I just do a subtle. Finally, they're like, somebody's in here, be right out. And I'm like, okay, that's great. You know, because I... This is my favorite shot and I love how these fighters go in there and they just look like the bombs are like, oh, it's like a nice exfoliator for him. It doesn't even look like it's it's doing anything, honestly. He might even find it enjoyable, like a nice hot stone massage, which is probably gonna make those Navy boys really angry now, isn't it? They're gonna go, normally when I blow stuff up, it blows up. Oh, not Godzilla. I love it when I didn't know who this was at the beginning and then it's just like, boom, boom. Boom, random hot girl. What is she doing? Cause she's not the mom. She's not, maybe she's the, she's just a random hot girl who's, who's sweaty. Apparently she's sweating or she's been in the water, maybe just came out. Is she King Kong's friend too? Is she the girl grown up? And they're just trying to do an editing trick. She's looking good though. Nice leather jacket. Me last week when Disneyland announced that they're getting rid of annual passes. <laughs> She's got the best line in the movie. The line that I would want in this movie is this line. It's Godzilla. It's Godzilla. It's Godzilla. <laughs> it's Godzilla. Godzilla. It's Godzilla. I just wanted to give you a little variation there, Adam, just so you could see, you know, ah, I could switch it up for you in the next one. Okay. This is exactly what it feels like on a slip and slide when there's not enough water. Just clawing your way down towards the bottom, you know, just burning. Yeah, you get a nice old plastic burn up here, which is good. It's a good look for the summer, you know, that way people know oh, she's got a slip and slide. You're like, don't I know it. This is exactly how I punch my pillows when I realize I'm out of cookies. <laughs> So freaking cool. This is what everybody thinks they're gonna look like if they were a rock star and on stage. Also, how I feel about this movie. What I feel like after I drink a cold brew. When I've been stopped up and I finally have a bowel movement. How I felt when I got this delivered. It's roller skates. I'm joining the trend. I'm gonna learn how to roller skate, but like really well. Like I can do it. Watch out for me soon. Professional roller skater coming up. Oh. <laughs> Day one of my roller skating adventures. See? Okay, here we go. Skating. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Hold on. I can do it. Just 
need to get used to it, you know? So, ooh, that was good. See that? Coming in smooth and stop. Whew, all right. Update you later. Okay. God, Kyle Chandler is so freaking good. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. You guys know how much I love dragons, but I also want King Kong to win and I realized they would kill him if he didn't flip that other one around. I'm just like, oh. Oh, I'm torn. Because I like those dragons too. This is gonna be me after I get the COVID vaccine. This is what I felt like that time I tried intermittent fasting. It was tough. This reminds me of that time I ended up at the grocery store and it was the day after they stopped selling Girl Scout cookies. That's tough news to take, knowing you were just one day late from delicious goodness. Kong. She has all, literally all the best lines. Kong bows to no one. 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 This is literally the most mesmerizing shot of any movie trailer that I've seen within the last year. It's just like, oh my god, that's so cool. And then you're like, stop, let's rewatch it again. God, I'm not tired of it. It's still so cool. You guys, I'm so stoked for this film to come out. Like, holy crap. Congrats, Adam Wingard. This looks amazing. I love you.